Good morning, everyone. Church, great to be here with you this morning. I want to invite you to stand together with me. Let's stand together. And this first song, kind of an upbeat song, uh, but the, uh, the words remind us, and really the words are a prayer from our lips to God's ears, to His heart, inviting His presence into our midst. Uh, inviting His Holy Spirit to come. And we just think of, of uh, the day of Pentecost, right? The time when the disciples were gathered together, uh, praying and, and united in one heart before the Lord. And it says that the Holy Spirit fell upon them, right? So the song invites us to call out to God, to ask Him to fall on us this morning. I hope it's your prayer as you come into this place, as you're even coming in now, that uh, you would be asking God to prepare your heart. The Holy Spirit, fall on us now. And uh, prepare us for worship. So let's uh, let's worship him and invite him into our midst.
would expect you to be here. We're here and we're ready for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take a minute. Let's turn around and greet one another this morning. Turn the mic on. So, 
We also do have uh, gifts for the retired pastors. We'll find you uh, and we'll get that to you, but uh, we didn't want to make you come up here too. So Megan's going to go ahead and pass out the items that we have for you. Whiskey, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and he uses that after he's done with his sermon. <laughs> people who were killed for their faith, that the early church decided to have it set aside a day in the Christian calendar, right? We have Christmas and Advent and Easter, but they set aside a day in the Christian calendar to honor and to remember those who had uh, gone before, uh, those who had given their life for Christ. And so All Saints Day is the day we do that. Uh, incidentally, Halloween really is, the, it comes from the phrase All Hallows Eve. It was the eve before All Saints Day. Uh, just kind of like Christmas Eve is the Eve before Christmas. So uh, that's where that kind of tradition comes from. It's been kind of messed up a little bit today in our culture. But um, anyway, so we always like to do something that reminds us about the saints that have gone before. And this next song we're going to sing, I want to uh, encourage you uh, to think about those maybe who have shared their faith with you and told you about Jesus and brought you to salvation in Him, uh, as well as letting them be an inspiration. Hebrews 12.1 says that, uh, therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us cast off everything that would, would, would hinder us from running the race well. And let us, therefore, then run the race well, remembering those that have gone before. And just before we sing this song, this is one of the great hymns of the church, I wanted to read the lyrics. I think sometimes when we sing it, we, uh, we sing over the phrases and we kind of miss the meaning. So let me read these words to us as we begin. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who thee by faith before the world confessed, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Thou wast their rock, their fortress, and their might. 
Thou, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight, Thou in the darkness drear, their one true light. O may thy soldiers, faithful, true, and bold, fight as the saints who nobly fought of old, and win with them the victor's crown of gold. O blessed communion, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one in thee, for all are thine. But lo, if I get all choked up. But lo, there breaks a yet more glorious day. The saints triumphant rise in glorious array. The king of glory passes on his way. From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of pearl, streams in the countless hosts, singing to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's stand and sing together. <clears throat>
Anyone else? Karen? I'm thankful for my late husband, Paul. I was not a believer when we were first married. He was, and we would take long road trips, and he would just go over and over the gospel with me so, so much. And, and I always said that I knew what it looked like when you changed Paul. <laughs> Christian spouses and Christian parents. Anybody else? How about one more? Well, my grandparents, Just, go ahead. grandparents and little parents and so many people in my life that um, brought me to Christ and, and all our family. And I just thank the Lord for all the saints in the Word of God and all the saints of, of decades and hundreds of years past and, and down through the ages to our own families. I just praise the Lord. that you have on your children is so vital. So vital. Don't take it for granted. When the doors are open here, be here. Bring your children here. Bring yourselves here. Make God, make your faith. It's living for Him a priority because it's, it has an eternal reward. Grandparents, uh, you also have a role in your, in your grandchildren's lives. The aunts and uncles and everyone, we have a role to play because we pass on that faith. And so uh, that's why it's so vital for us to be here together. Uh, this is the place where, where we grow uh, in Him and become more like Him. And, and that happens when we're on our own and reading and studying the Bible, but it, but it happens most, I think, most profoundly when we gather together. So parents, grandparents, uh, be faithful, be diligent. Let's continue in worship this morning. Thank you so much for sharing. It's an encouragement to me.
much of the altar as we go to the Lord in prayer now. I just want to encourage you just again to remind, uh, give God praise this morning for those that have passed on uh, the faith to you. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this place, this time, this moment that you've given to us. It's not an accident. We're not here just by chance. Uh, Lord, we, we didn't just happen to show up this morning, but God, you have been here ahead of time. You've been inviting us and working in our lives. Lord, there's something you want to do and something you want to say to us today. Lord, maybe you already have. Maybe it's been that reminder. Lord, of those we want to give you praise and thanks for this morning. Think of my parents that passed on the faith to me and taught me from the youngest age to know and to love and to serve you and took me to church whenever the doors were open and Lord made a way for me to be here to, to hear your voice so that I could respond. And so Lord, we want to give you praise this morning for all those that have gone before us. God, those that have uh, laid down their very lives to carry on the gospel. Think about those like John Huss that translated the scripture from the Latin into the English, Lord, and as a result was burned at the stake because they thought that's heretical. But God, uh, those that have translated the scriptures, those that have taught, those that have preached, those that have transcribed, well, whatever, Lord, we just want to give you praise and thanks for them today. And Lord, we join our, our voices this morning together with all the saints and all the angels giving you praise and honor. Lord, we're so thankful that, uh, that you hear it and answer prayer. And we see that time and time again and week after week. And we just want to give you praise, Lord, this morning for some answered prayers. We thank you so much for Ava, Pease, and Lord, her precious life, God. She's so precious to you. She's so precious to her family. God, you have such great plans for her. And Lord, would you continue to speak into her life. Thank you for her safe return this week. We thank you, Lord, for your answer to prayer with Jerry Harris, Lord, and uh, that things are, are going well. And, and even though he had a setback this week, Lord, they, they know what it is and we'll be able to continue to treat him. And, and uh, we pray, Lord, for continued um, healing, shrinking of those tumors. We thank you also, Lord, for Bruce Thompson and for his uh, treatment so far, Lord, has not been uh, as had negative consequences on his, his body and his life as they thought, but it's been it's been better than they thought. So Lord, continue to uh, touch his body, touch his life, uh, be with Vicki and just encourage her just as you would with Sue Harris, Lord, and just encourage each one as they care for their, their husbands and as they love them. Lord, we want to continue to pray for Grady and uh, for this uh, lymphoma that he has in his body. Lord, you... You can heal. You can touch. And God, we just want to pray together this morning that you would touch his young body and his young life. Lord, as he goes through treatments, Lord, that you protect the healthy cells from the chemotherapy. And Lord, may it just attack just the, the uh, cancerous cells and that his body wouldn't be ravaged so badly by that. And so we just lift Brady up to you and his family, Lord. If they don't know you, they might come to know, know you as their Savior and their Lord. Father, we just uh, all across this room have things that, we, that are heavy on our hearts. We think about friends and family we know that uh, don't know you as their Savior. When we pray for them, we never want to give up on them because you never give up. Lord, we pray for those that need a strength to, strengthening today and encouragement today. Those that need a resolve, uh, their resolve lifted today. Lord, those that need um, just to sense you near today. Your care, your compassion, your love. May they know, because they know it's true, it's in your word, and we, we've experienced in our lives, but God, may the, the knowledge of that sink deep down today, their hearts and lives. Thank you so much, Lord, for the gift of music, for those that have written the great hymns, the praise and worship songs throughout the generations. Thank you for the opportunity to sing your praise this morning, and now, Lord, as we continue in worship, we've sung, we've prayed, we've given. Uh, Lord, may we now hear from you and from your word. Lord, just to, I pray that you would anoint me and that uh, folks are here just what they need to hear from you. Not from Andy, but from you. We pray this together in Jesus' name. Everybody said together.